Hey everyone, we are back with the taco box. We are going to delve into lesson three, blue fish. Let's check it out. Lib 101, I'm going to show this to you guys. Uh, so you can skip me reading it if you would like. Okay, Lib 101, research for wizards. This lesson requires a strong mind and focused attention. Every great adventure comes with sudden surprises that will test your ability to quickly recover lost items, artifacts, and party members. Our directions. Find the seven prized artifacts listed in the photo diagram. Use the grid to identify the location of each artifact. Hint, the top door is located at this set of runes. The locations of the artifacts will also reveal the name of the creature that lurks in the water. Send all the locations to Taco on the Stone of Far Speech. Wizard School Advice. What if while you're staring at this photo diagram, it's staring back at you? How's your bean? Is it freaked? Thought so. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. So if we take a look at this, we can see that at the top and on the sides, there are in fact runes, which make a grid. So we will have to find each of the items listed in the top and find out where they correspond on this grid of runes. So here's a list of all the things we are supposed to be finding. An arcane trickster's glove, loafers of striding and springing, Stephen Q. Fletcher, rail splitter, cloak of the manta ray, the nitpicker, and the extreme teen bible. So before I show you where everything is, I wanted you to have a look at the entire piece for yourself. This is the top left corner. Here's the top right corner. Here is the bottom left corner. And here is the bottom right corner. So the grid that we're going to be paying attention to goes side rune, bottom and top rune. So the side rune goes first and then the bottom and top corresponding to where the item is on this map. So first stop is item number one, which is the arcane trickster's glove, which we can find in the seaweed here, kind of near the center of the top left. So the symbols that correspond with it are this rune on the left and this rune at the top. In sort of the bottom left, we can find the loafers here. That's going to be just in R and in A. In the kind of top left, we have our friend Stephen the Goldfish. This symbol on the left and this symbol up top. So rail splitter is a little bit hard to find because there are a lot of axes on this map, but you can identify it by the ribbon hanging off the back of the axe, and we can find it here in the back of this robot truck. So again, it's in this symbol, and this symbol repeats. In the bottom right sort of area with Fisher, we have the cloak of the manta ray. You can tell because of the gold trim on the cloak. This one is in K, and this symbol. Also in the bottom right, sorry it's difficult to see, but here is a very grumpy nitpicker. He is in the R symbol, and he just makes it into this symbol. And hey, in the bottom right again, we have the Extreme Teen Bible, which is in the K symbol, and the I symbol. Hey everyone, it is yet another day. I have been extremely baffled and vexed by this puzzle, but I think I finally figured it out. I did have a symbol wrong, and I did want to say that this symbol here is cropped incorrectly on my map, so just make sure that you have the right one. Now, we do get a hint in the lesson plan from the Wizard School Advice. It says, what if while you're staring at this photo diagram, it's staring back at you? How's your bean? Is it freaked? Thought so. So that's kind of a hint for us. What if the photo diagram is staring back at us? Therefore, we are going to switch the X and Y axis. And we're gonna try and put in each coordinate backwards. And that's what this bottom series of runes is all about. So we are going to type in the second set I have here for the first time. Let's see if it works. Boop. Woo! 
Well, collecting all that stuff was sure hard. Now, to figure out what's... Bartolusk? Bartolus, the horrible glass squid, is in this flooded room with us? Are you yanking my chain? Because if we're in here with Bartolusk, we're all dead, and school is canceled, and all deposits are non-refundable. Who are you talking to? I'm praying! Which we should all be doing because we're in here with Bartolusk. Oh, the horrible glass squid that sucks out your eyes and turns your bones to jelly and ruins your credit score. Merle, for the last time, you were just bad with money. Wait, Bartolusk is retreating to that whirlpool. Uh, guys, I think we're all retreating into that whirlpool. <laughs> Drown in there if we get sucked in. Let me try something. Hey, pupil. Things are looking pretty bad right now. So I just burned a big boy spell slot to freeze time for a bit. Through no fault of anyone's, especially mine, we're currently trapped in a massive whirlpool with Bartlesk, the horrible glass squid, and are about to get flushed down a subterranean toilet to our sewery deaths. Cool. Now, I know our relationship has been a bit strained since I took you under my beautiful plumage, but I'll be honest, I actually think we're going to need your help to get out of this one. Okay, go ahead and crack open the next lesson. It's the one with the purple wrench on it. Seriously, we're going to die if you goof this one up. Do a good job. No. A great job. I've always believed in you today. So we are going to crack open this purple wrench folder and I will see you guys in the next episode.